Hey y'all, it's your sassy gal. Welcome back to Sassy Gal Prepping. Look where I'm at today. Can you tell? Can you tell where I'm at? Okay, so you see, I am in our RV and we're getting ready to take it out for a long weekend visit. And wouldn't you know, it's like the hottest week of the year. You know, I swear I think we are cursed that every time we take the RV out, it, t it gets up to like 100 degrees. We are going to be mooch docking um, at a friend's house. They have a large piece of property and we're going to park out by their um, detached garage that's on the opposite side of their driveway. Half of it is shaded, the other half is not. And I'm not exactly sure how the sun moves, but I do know that this part of the RV right here, our dining area and our couch area that is going to be exposed to the sun at some point I don't know if it'll be morning sun or afternoon sun so what I have done is that I've gone to Dollar Tree my favorite store and I purchased these sunshades they are not very sturdy they do feel very flimsy I cannot imagine actually putting these in your car as a regular sunshade because it feels like I'm working with a curtain. That's how light it is. However, it's reflective material. And if I can get that reflective material in these areas where the sun is going to be, it will keep this part of the RV cooler, okay? And look at this area, the cab area. Look how much light shining in there, right? And this area is always warm. And when we go to campgrounds and things like that, this area is the one that's sticking out because we back in. And so I wanna try to reflect the sun back out. I can't find any auto shade for the RV. I just cannot find any. Doesn't mean that they don't exist because I know they do, I've seen them, but I just can't find any. The last time I saw them was a couple years ago. I should have bought it then. Anyway, I'm going to put these together to make a big auto shade for the front. And the nifty thing is, is I've already put these up in our windows over here. So let me turn the camera around. So we have these windows here are already tinted, just like this one. You can't really tell here, but it is tinted um, and that helps. And then we have the shades that, you know, you have the light diffusing part, okay? And then you have the darkening ones, which I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and pull this down right now because I can see the sun's already getting in here. All right, and so that, that does help, but when we have been in campgrounds and these areas have been exposed to like the afternoon sun, it does get warm. And so what I did is I opened up one of these sunshades and I'll show you what it looks like. And I stuck it in here and it fits perfectly in here. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'll just lift up a little bit. Cause once I got it in there, it ain't coming out. So see, this is it right here. I put the reflector, the reflecting side facing out so it, re it will reflect the sun away and hopefully keep this extra cool. See how much darker it is there by doing that than it is right there. Where we're going, the temperature is going to be 99 degrees. I don't even know what the heat indice is going to be for that. And I know that the RV is going to run harder. And so just to help things out, to try to keep this cooler so that our RV doesn't have to keep you know, running and running and running. We're gonna see if this helps keeps it cooler in here so we can actually turn the temperature up a little bit instead of having to keep the temperature down, you know, like 69 or something, we can actually keep it up a little bit higher. So, um, so anyway, let me open up one of these sunshades and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here is the sunshade opened up all full spread out and you'll see that it has grommets here on either side. And what that is for is for these suction cups. And so you're able to put the suction cups here in the holes and then you can suction it to your window. And in my opinion, if you're gonna use this in your car, this is way too much work to get this sucker up in your car. What I did is it fits perfectly in this window. I was only able to use one suction cup because this side has a screen and then on the inside, so I can't suction it to the screen, obviously. So I used the, the suction cup on the one side and then I smoothed it over to the other side 
and then I pulled the shades down over it. So it's not really secure. It's basically just laying in there. So that's what it looks like. It also has straps down here, which I just cut these off because I'm not attaching these to anything. So I cut the straps off and I'm gonna use the suction cup to attach it to the window. What I'm going to be working on now are the front windows right here. Well, I'll be ding dang, look at that, you guys. It's like perfect. I, what I did is you can probably tell I just duct taped the bottoms of the sunshades together up here. There we go. I put them up at the very top and I got the suction cups on the windows. But then I put down the uh, suction cups down here on the bottom just so that um, it wasn't hanging all from the top. Just, just keep it all in place. And then we can close the curtains. And there, look, you can see the difference already in that. That's gonna be a huge improvement. Wow, you guys, can you see the difference now? I've got both of them up there in the window. So I've used four sunshades for the very front windows. And then I used one here and one there. All right, so that's six so far and I had two left over. And I've already been looking at this window here, kind of at a loss as to what to do for this. I may end up having to just put pieces in there. I don't know. We're gonna play around with it a little bit, so stay tuned. That didn't work. <laughs> I tried and tried and tried to finagle that thing in there, that a piece of the auto shade in there, and it just wasn't doing anything. The little, um, a suction cup wasn't sticking to the window and then I tried to jerry-rig another idea in there and then the thing just kind of ripped up. I mean it just they are so flimsy so um, I'm hoping that this idea will last through the weekend okay I'm hoping that um, those will stay up we're gonna be we're gonna baby them and take real care good care of them I have one extra one but when all else fails if it's not gonna work it's not gonna work and then I'll just have to keep trying to find a big RV window shade that I've seen people have um, if you know where to get them probably just you know buying from an RV store online um, just getting the measurements and stuff would be fine let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have some other things that you like to try to do to reflect the heat out and away from the windows of your RV, if you have an RV, or maybe even a room in your house that you need to keep cooler. So let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care, be aware, and stay cool, y'all.